In this video, I'm going to try to help you guys out to see how we can go about testing the fuel pump and fuel filter. If you're like me, you probably search Google, try to find places to show you what could be going wrong. And we're going to go ahead and tackle those issues right now. So let's get started. You know, one of the first things you want to do is just measure the amp draw that your pump has. In my instance, I mean, right here, you can see that it's a 17.3. And that's pretty good because uh, the Pro Tuner 750 runs at 14 amps at 45 PSI. Now, if you have the Pro Tuner 625 or the 525, you can go to the website and it tells you there the amp draw. And this is very important because this is the only way you're going to tell if your pump is drawing too many amps. Now, if you need to use a meter, I recommend the Unity UT210E, which is the one I'm using. This one is good up to 100 amps. Now, if you need something to measure the total amp draw of your whole car, I recommend getting the Unity the 204 model, which reads up to 400 amps. Now, the cheapest place I've located this meter is on eBay. And it's very easy to use. You're basically going to select on top from 100 to 2 amp and then you're going to go ahead and hit the uh, select button which is blue. After that you're just simply going to get the positive power cable of the pump and you're going to put the clamp around it and it should get a reading. Note if you do not get a reading it's most likely that you have it set to a low setting. So you're going to go ahead and move it to a higher setting. So if you have it at 2 amp you're going to go ahead and move it to a 20. I did not take a video, but when I took the measurement when I was experiencing the issue with the burnt out relay, the uh, pump measured at 37 amps. Just running it for 30 seconds to a minute, the wire harness would get extremely hot as well as the relay. This caused me to have to replace the relay in the harness, but it did not make a difference. So we're going to have to check either the pump is going bad or there's some kind of restriction causing the pump to have to work harder. The cheapest thing to do is either to replace a fuel filter or if you have a mesh stainless steel filter to test it, which we're gonna do in the next step. Okay, here we have the two filters. This is the one that's suspect. It looks like it could be clogged. As we compared in the other video with this one, Don't be fooled by the size, it's the same micron. They're both still 25 micron, despite the size. So we're gonna go ahead and try the one that I think it's clogged up. So as you can see, the water is just pours out on top and it slowly begins to filter, slowly. Now let's try this one, the new one. As you can see, the water just flows out through the bottom. It never reaches the top of the filter. Now if we increase it, it still will not reach the top. This is my faucet running at full speed. I cannot open this any anymore. And if you notice, it never reaches the top. Now if we go back to the, the clogged filter, and we just let a little stream. Let's see what happens. Pull straight up to the top. See that? So this filter is definitely clogged. Now, I think what happened is that I became a little lazy as far as maintenance on the filter. And uh, it looks like me running E85 and letting the car sit at times for months may have gummed up the filter. So I went ahead and got just a, a larger filter with the same micron, but MagnaFuel does recommend that you start up the car at least 
every one to two weeks so you can lubricate all the internal components of their fuel pump and they also mentioned that they actually try to ultrasonically clean a clogged E85 mesh filter and they said they were unable to so pretty much if your filter is clogged and you're using E85 you have to throw it away and buy a new one one thing I want to add is that the guys over at MagnaFuel are amazing they have excellent customer service and I did send back my pump just to have it looked at you know I didn't want to take any chances since I also had to wait until I got my new filter it made sense just to have them look look it over since it was running kind of high after all they did find a couple of issues with it nothing major and to my surprise it was under fifty dollars shipped back to me and I gotta say those guys are outstanding on a side note I do have a 74 micron filter which is the one you see in the video and that one believe it or not looks brand new there's nothing in there just a few particles from the gas tank but it did not have that discoloration like the 25 micron filter had in summary if you're having an issue with your wiring harness or your relay melting or getting extremely hot and burning out relays you want to go ahead and check to make sure that your fuel pump does not have a high amp draw. The second thing you want to check is to make sure that your fuel filter is not clogged. Now, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate that just because your wire harness and your relay burn out and you replace it, does not necessarily mean that you have repaired your issue. It's always important to find out why those items got hot enough to burn out. And if you're looking for a replacement wiring harness with relay, I recommend the Jags. It has a high rating, plus I've noticed it has the largest diameter wire out of all the relays.